Hi, I'm Eli. Hi, I'm Brian. And this is Game Rentals. I'm gonna fight Dark Samus. Cool. So we thought we had this figured out where it was like, okay, this new like interdimensional thing, you gotta keep fighting light and dark back and forth to keep it balanced. Light, dark, light, dark, light, dark! And then it just kind of turned into nothing. Nothing's happening now. So either we broke it or we solved it. I'm not sure which. Possibly both? Okay, I thought she killed herself for a second. I find the bots really like to play off the stage really, really awkwardly. Damn, I actually meant to hold it the first time. Get in his belly. Wait, what'd you just eat? The item. What item? The sword. I didn't see the item up here. Yeah, it was just a second. Just inhaled the goddamn thing. What do you think of Dark Samus as an inclusion? It's interesting. I feel like they did want to do more Metroid inclusion. I don't know. I don't mind it. I don't know who else they'd really add, though. That's the problem with meaningful, like, to it, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you got Ridley now. Um, I could see Crocomire. Maybe Kraid. Kraid? I don't remember. I don't know who Kraid is, actually. Uh, Kraid is the giant green dinosaur-looking mofo. Oh. But in the original game, he was the same size of Samus, and there's actually a reference to that in Super Metroid, funny enough. Oh. But it'd just be Mini Kraid. Because okay. Because Mini Kraid is actually a thing, so... Or baby crate, I guess. I missed! And then, yeah, the other one that could have been was maybe Crocomire. Oh, I! Killed yourself. Oh, you're a lot. You're fine. God, no. If I, I pressed over B too soon. Yeah, you gotta be thinking about it now. What other Metroid inclusions could you even have? Um, yeah, I don't know any, right? Like, you could somehow get the. Oh, God, I forgot their name, of course. Mother Brain? No, um, the actual baddies. The ones that Metroid's eat. Oh, the X? Yeah, is there any way you could include them? Um... Like, any, any like, solid forms that maybe they've had? The closest one would have been SAX. But SAX is just be another Samus Echo. Oh. Unless it was fully transformed SAX, in which case... It would be a really good Samus Echo? No, I just don't know what its moveset would be, and it's really goopy and big. Oh. Okay, yeah, cool. I'd be down for that. Transformed SAX? Fuck it. Make it happen. Good shit. There we go. Got the gimp. Yeah, it's kind of hard to... You have you have to do it with the down A in there. You can, like, hit them, but you can carry them to the right or left. Mm -hmm. Or down, and you kind of have to get that pattern going. It's, uh... Where else interesting? Because you kind of got to kill them with the waft combo. Like, you got to get them into a position where you can use the down B to just destroy them. Mm-hmm. That's his biggest kill potential, I would say. But Oh, now it moved. Okay. That's good. Maybe it slows down the more you fight? Yeah, it's favoring light now, so we should kill more light things. I think it's your fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it totally is. Alright, you play this game. Sorry, I just kind of like... I've been entranced in thought of, like, what other Metroid characters are there? I mean, like, there's, um... Oh, what the hell was his name? He's from Other M. The commander dude? No, no, that's Malkovich, and fuck out, fuck, fuck Adam. Adam Malkovich oh. is boring. Okay. He's one of the uh, one of the Federation troops. Oh. I cannot remember his name. He's like a regular human name. Like Eric. Yeah, something like that. Oh. But like, I can't remember the specific what it was. Um, I'll remember it later. Maybe, can you Google it for me? Uh, in a minute, I will. I have to Google something else first. Okay. Well, that take is ruined! You're ruined! Don't fight him up, he's just shooting you with a gun. Oh. I tried getting fancy. Ooh, motorcycle to the dick. That does it. Didn't we just watch that in an episode or something? Motorcycle to the dick? Yeah. Wait, maybe. Yeah. That is agon. That is agon. Okay, so what do you want me to look at? Random... Uh, Federation Force, uh, Other M Federation Character. Other M Federation Character. Can we do another fight in the meantime, or? Yeah. Okay. It's an easy it's, one, anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh, Adam, I just pulled, got it. Anthony Higgs. Anthony! <clears throat> Anthony's the one. Adam, no, Anthony, yep. Yeah. Because his whole, like, first, like, he shows up. 
early in the game, if I recall. What okay. in the hellscape? I don't know why it's on fire. I don't know what Yarny has to do with fire. You're just fighting a bunch of dogs with ducks and everything's on fire. You know, just like real life. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so Ridley shows up and Samus has, like, PTSD for some fucking reason. And, like, it's, like, super poorly explained and it, and it's just, like, she's like, Oh, no, it's Ridley. I can't fight Ridley. I'm scared. I'm a damsel all of a sudden. And it's like, what? What? That's lame. But then Anthony shows up and saves that scene by let me say by pulling out a giant fucking railgun and saying, "Let me show you how to treat a lady." Okay. Yeah. Now we got to go fight the dark. Yes, I think that's how this works. I'm pretty. Wait, didn't we do two fights for the dark? And then it moved because I'm pretty sure we weren't at neutral when we got that to move the first time. I don't know. Maybe again. maybe not all of them make them move. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're like I'm pretty sure we're definitely two into dark. I think we have to go two like two into two into light now. Oh, master hands available. That's crazy. Crazy hands available. Fight crazy, actually. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. It's dark, and we gotta push the darkness back. Dark. Darkness. Darkness. Anyway, um... Yo, fuck other M. I mean, I, I, I don't know. She definitely was like a damsel. I'm not gonna argue that, but the PTSD thing at least makes a little sense, right? No, that's it whole... doesn't. She's killed Ridley twice at that point. Uh, that's true. She smoked him two times without any fucking fear. Now she's upset. Now she's breaking down. And it, it, okay, here's my problems with that game. Mechanically speaking, it's not that bad. The only major mechanical problem I have with that game is the fact that, um... Oh. You missed. Yeah, I thought I had three jumps, not... I, I, I thought I still had three jumps left, not two. Oops. Anyway, so the biggest mechanical problem with that game is the fact that you have to go first person to fire missiles. Uh-huh. Which is completely unoptimized for combat. Okay. It's just not fun to do. Oh, okay. Um... But like the ki the fucking nail in that game's coffin was that like we're gonna have we're gonna give characterize a character who is apparently never spoken, has never had a voice. Yeah. Meanwhile, she has had a character before. In fact, she's had several pieces of dialogue in the game. Okay. In the game's prior. Yeah. Funny, huh? Including communications with another character. Maybe and it was their attempt to like reboot the series, and someone didn't know like it didn't really need it. Well, that's what it was, but that's the thing, it's not a reboot, because it takes place within the the timeline of Metroid. No, just the person doing it thought it was a reboot. Maybe. All, all I just... I've never seen Crazy Hand do the teleport before. Really? Yeah. Huh, that's funny. Anyway, it's just like, it didn't make any sense. They're like, okay, they're, they're trying to give her a character where it, in all the weirdest directions. They're like, okay, we have this badass bounty hunter... Lady, and we're gonna make her. You're gonna show how vulnerable she can be, and I'm like, that's cool and all, but she's been vulnerable before. Did, I swear to fuck, no one played Metroid Fusion. I swear to fuck, no one played that game. It also, that other M also was uh, responsible for ruining another character of the series. Oh, Malkovich. Yep, Adam Malkovich. He was described as like a really, like a fairly stern, kind of gruff commanding officer. Oh my god. Yes. With like, but like a heart of gold and like was like a really respectful person. Oh, that hurts so much to do. And oh. it just, and the game just kind of made him out to be like an ass. Yeah. That had no respect for Samus and what she does. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. It was just like, it's such a strange direction to go with it. And now they are basically being like, that game never happened. Look at the, look at the remake of uh, Metroid 2. Look, we made that. And a new Prime's coming out. Yeah, other M didn't happen. Don't worry about it. Mm, maybe it's for the best. I think it's for the best. Oh, ho, ho, boy. Oh. That's, uh, oops. Let's go fight that Master Hand. Wow, we went from, like, we would have been one light positive, and now we're, like, two light, now we're, like, sorry, we were one light negative, and now we're, like, two light positive. Holy shite. All right, let's go make our way to that Master Hand, get that character while we're at it. Yeah, because the other Master Hand's right there. Yeah. So I guess when we beat that master, another crazy's gonna pop up. Alright, I guess I'll go... Fight. Wait. Oh, we have to go deep. We had to go deep! We gotta go deep! I'll go fight Selif. Selif? He looks stupid. Or she looks stupid. Or... What... What are you? I don't know. A Fire Emblem character. I don't think it matters. Yeah. They're kind of all, like, as androgynous as you can get. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Does it matter? Not really. 
Not really, because I won't like the game anyway. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy. Throw heat. Throw heat. Throw on heat. Throw heat. Punch. Oh god, you're facing Ike and Marth. Yep. But it's the Marth, it's the Ike that looks like Marth, therefore he is Mike. Ike and... You're fighting Mike and Ikes. Wait, no! Oh god. But they're so good. They're okay. I don't want to fight them. Yeah, they're like, there's like so many of them in a package. Ow. Come get me. Ah, fuck, I'll come get you. Use your bike. No. Just gonna take a bite of him like Snuff McGruff took a bite of the crime. Alright, you're fighting Tails, who has a jetpack, and also Knuckles is here. What the fuck's going on? Oh, Tails is an asshole. Tails shows up. He's like, man, I'm gonna fight this guy. And you're like, okay. And then he's like, by the way, I'm bringing my homie over to kick your ass. Knuckles. Oh god, they're punching me! He has a jetpack and... It's just like fighting Sonic, honestly. It's just like he has a Sonic with him. Yeah. Remember they're saying that, like, Knuckles could have been an Echo Fighter of Sonic? Yeah. Or his own character, even. Or that Shadow of the Hedgehog could, was going to be an Echo. I uh, really do hope they do more Echoes. Echoes are cool conceptually. I don't want them to waste slots on Echoes. It's not wasting a slot, though. They already have five main characters that are going to be his DLC. Well, yeah, that's why they're not going to... Oh. That's why if they do any Echoes, they're not going to have any more, right? They said they have five DLC, and if one of those is an Echo, that's... I think, you're I think you're misunderstanding what I'm asking for here. Skins? No, no, make more Echo characters to go along with the fucking DLC guys. Just like as freeware? Why not? Because it's Nintendo? Yeah, why not? It's not exactly outside of their wheelhouse to do shit like that. I mean, I couldn't think of it happening recently, not in the modern market. Oh god, he's gonna... Uppercut you? Yeah. And furthermore, the Echo characters take far less investment of time than the other characters. Oh, they do. Okay. I'm just saying there's Jetpack not... Gunman is really annoying. Really? Because it looks like Knuckles is the one kicking your ass. I just have to kill this guy. You... Now, this is going to sound crazy, but you can actually just kill Knuckles. I mean, he's, he's, he's really working you over, so... He's immortal god. Oh... Low gravity, I wasn't ready for it. So the moment I touched my stick, woo! You were like a pixel away from getting kicked <clears> in the mouth. <throat> yep. But instead, I got him! I got him. Ah, hey, hey. Alright, oh, that's good. Now we're uh, neutral. Alright, we're neutral again. So if I push forward a little bit, and it'll eventually. Ugh. Segalio. Incineroar. Incineroar. Excellent. Ooh. This should be fun. Oh, I just realized what music's playing. Huh. Because if I recall, that's the Elite Four theme from that game. Oh! That sent me flying! This is a stamina fight! That's not how this is supposed to go down. Ow! Dude, they're trying to kill you. Ow, get me out of this. They brought real-life guns to a fighting game. Oh, shit. It's like the it's like that fucking one uh, Mortal Kombat fatality in the new Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, Which with, one? Uh, Cassie Cage. Just shoots him. Just fucking shoots him, and oh. then takes a selfie with him and posts it on Facebook. Tasteful. Hilarious. Is that a Logan Paul reference. I Wouldn't think that'd be funny. It would be funny, but I think that actually that fatality came first. So I think Logan Paul was referencing that. I doubt he was referencing that on purpose, at least. Really, the get up. Oh, yeah, stamina battle. I yeah. thought you were about to send him flying. I'm like, oh, yeah. You see, you just punch him in the shins first, and then he just crumples. Yeah. But then you throw the weight of his sins. His sins! It's in the Blade Chronicles. I'm like looking at, like, Mithra. Wait, isn't that, like, the chick from, um... Mithra. Tales of Symphonia? Maybe? The one that sounds like she had Down Syndrome? Oh, Colette? Oh, no. I think Mithra was, like, the god. It wasn't Mithra, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. It was really close. Martel. Mattel, as in, like, electronics? No. God, no, 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 I hope not. <laughs> also, on, on, on further thought, I hope not. Why is there always curry in these matches? Fuck. They're awful. This fight seems pretty terrible, truth be told. So this is a legend, you realize that, right? Yep. 
Which is not good for your health. Nope. That's good for your health, though, unless you kill yourself, in which case it's bad for your health. Alright, you hit something. Whatever, it dies. No, at least I can one. Raging one Wario! Time. The Raging Wario. Oh, I only had, I didn't have the full off. Didn't kill him either. You probably don't want to get hit by that one. What did I just say? It uses beams up. Gotcha. Well, that, that was bike, rude. That bike was short lived. Is that the newest Fire Emblem game that got like a bunch of flack recently for like existing? I don't know. Because they tried doing like the Pokemon blue, blue and red thing. I was actually trying to go down through the stage. Actually, you know, that's a weird thought. So if I recall, there was a bit of, not controversy, that's not really the right word for it, but it wasn't, there was some fan backlash because huh. they released um, Fire Emblem, the newest Fire Emblem as two games. Okay. So it was like, it seemed like it was like a, like a Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue version, but they, they completed each other. So to get the entire story, you'd have to buy both games. Yeah. Now, I find this funny because if, if they're both complete games on their own, that's like, it doesn't matter. It's fine, right? Yeah. So I don't know if that was the case or not. But I can think of another game that is exuberantly expensive, actually, that's from a collector's standpoint. Yeah. For the PS1, that did the exact same thing, and I, I'm pretty sure it gets pretty, oh, damn it. pretty heavily praised. Really? Yeah. Nope. Yes. Backslash. Getting fucked up by these two losers. You might consider switching characters. Yeah. But yeah, so the game I'm talking about, though, is Persona 2. Huh. Yeah. Persona 2 on the PlayStation 1 was split into two games that followed two sets of characters going on two different stories, but they were like brother-sister game. Okay, interesting. So, because it was one was Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, and the other one is Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Okay. And they go for about $250 to $300 each. Oh, this is working. I've been literally watching you do this for, like, it feels like hours. They're jumping a lot. Oh my god, it's fucking nighttime. You've been doing this for, like, uh-oh. No. Oh, you, I don't think you're dead? I wasn't trying to go up with it. I was just trying to do another up smash. Yeah, like, you didn't take that much damage. I think you're, I think you can do this. Just don't do anything reckless. Like, don't play unnecessarily reckless. Oh, it was me. Hey. <clears throat> Hello, raging Wario. You will fart 1,000 farts. <laughs> Excellent. Lovely. Graceful. Like a Wario. Politana. What are you doing here? I don't know. What are you doing at the end of time in reality? Wait. Is that fair? Wait, does that make sense, actually? She's like a goddess, right? I mean, yeah. Ready? Ooh, our food will be here soon. Ooh. Punch! No. Spin. Twirl. Fuck him up. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to like get good hits with Wario. The smashes don't have too much knockback, but they're decent. I'm just trying to twirl on her and it's not working because she keeps jumping around like an ass. Yeah, who would do that? Get the shell before she does. Oh, that works. If I can't have it, no one can. That's rude. Yep. Oh, shit! He countered it. I'm playing this like an idiot. Yeah, just, oh god, don't get on the neutral train. Oh, Jesus. Look how far that took you. She managed to arc you. Yeah, I don't understand how to play Wario yet. Something I'm missing. Like combos. Yep. I got a fast fall more, and I'm just not very good at it. Every time I try, I just don't fast fall. I just, I just don't. And then when you don't want to fast fall, you decide, Hey, look, the floor! Ah! <laughs> Defeat. Is what you say as you fall to your desk because you've fast fallen off the edge again. Again. Palutena. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, we should, uh, we should, we should balance this out before we do this. Okay. Little birdie. I'll go fight the little birdie. Tiny Ridley. It looks scary. The little birdie looks scarier than the Ridley. You're a Ridley. Look at the fucking thing. It looks so fucking scary. Where's this accent coming from? I'm sorry. Ready? Oh, fuck. I love Ridley's theme. It's good. Maybe not using the charge attack enough. I don't know. Stop playing off the stage like that. Come here. Come here. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's... Uh-oh. He's got an interesting stage for Ridley. Yep. 
The music fits somehow, though. It does. The fear is real. It's really real. What? I I gave him a number. You gave him the fingers. Give him that. Sign. I said I said take a number. What? What number? Uh. Four. Four. Eighteen. Bingo. You talking about battleship? Oh no. Like, comment, and subscribe. What's wrong Wait, with this? Wait, what? This?